News now today, Detroit's big three automakers teaming up to save the DIA. GM, Ford and Chrysler are dipping into their deep pockets, promising millions of dollars to help support retiree pensions. And the move keeps the art off the auction block. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live at the DIA with the latest. Julie, what can you tell us today? Well, Joanne, it's a happy day for people as long as the retirees will end up voting yes to the plan of adjustment because that helps keep this deal intact and keep those dollars pledged for the plan of adjustment. So take a look right now. We're outside at the DIA. And that standing ovation that you're watching is what the heads of the retiree unions got when they came up today to tell retirees to vote yes to the plan. Now, the Retired Employees Association did that and both urged them to vote yes. The money announced today makes up the rest of the money that the DIA pledged in order to save the artwork from being sold off. Chrysler pledging $6 million, Ford pledged $10 million, General Motors pledged another $10 million. Now, a number of officials were here to speak, including emergency manager Kevin Orr, bankruptcy judge Gerald Rosen, who thanked everybody for their hard work, and Governor Rick Snyder, who also, again, asked retirees to vote yes and said that this was a great date for the city of Detroit and the state of Michigan. This is a historic step today in making that fragile comeback a reality. And so I think it's critically important to recognize how many people have partnered to really make this happen. Now, just as the DIA helps us preserve our cultural history, we believe in assisting the DIA and the region as a plan for an even brighter future. We hope our contribution will encourage other companies and organizations to come forward and join us in this effort to revitalize this great city. Now, the governor is inside answering questions with reporters. We do have reporter Jim Kurtzner in there who will bring you all the latest at five and six on what the governor is saying right now. But he knows it's going to be a tough sell because the retirees have 23,000 retirees have ballots in their hands and they need to vote yes or no on the plan of adjustment by July 11th. And that will also seal the money that was given here for that deal and for their cuts. But this is the thing. The reason why it's going to be a hard sell is even though they this softens the blow, they still don't get things like cost of living and their health benefits are severely cut. So we'll all see in the coming days what happens with that. We're live for Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Yeah, so many pieces to this bankruptcy puzzle, Julie. Thank you for that update today. As Julie mentioned, we're going to be one on one with Governor Rick Snyder to talk about the DIA's announcement. Jim Kurtzner will have the governor's reaction. Again, that'll be later today on 7 Action News and on our website as well, WXYZ.com.